welcome back. I'm Hogzeller here in part four of our Air Mogul Airport Tycoon series. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video, I might be skipping ahead, and I have done so to 1974, where we'll have a couple additional items developed. So in between, I did discover that I can go over two months between uh, grabbing contracts. So that's what we're going to end up doing uh, for this video. Um, while you were away, I also had a few more contracts come in. Um, as you can see, some I'm accepting, some I am sending back for additional this is the weird this is the weird airline that <clears throat> only wants cargo flight um which i will be more than happy to allow for i think we're gonna do here since I'm going to have two. Then we'll have one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> cool. We don't want that for the wash of the cargo hold, so I can quickly identify whose is whose. Thought I might be one short here. I thought I wanted to give each one of these five. go one more month here before we look at the contracts. Let's see here how far along we are up here. So we're about three in. So things we need to watch for in March is the airport police. Um, in April, we're going to have uh, some plane maintain. We're going to have the Terminal uh, 5, which I don't care about, in May and June. But more importantly, in June, Livestock 1. Okay. So I got the... cargoes all across then I think we'll do it for sure um, oh, there's our airport police but let's get our contracts done first and then we'll go and uh, add our <coughs> our new cargo type for livestock Give me the money. Give me the money. I just don't know if they, the developers really realize it's kind of like manipulation in the game. Where our, you have a kind of a guaranteed one send back. It's starting to get a little full here. I'm going to take a quick look on my little chart I made of when the uh, <clears throat> the next runway is going to be available. And of course, it's got to be at the very bottom. Ah, 
I'm just doing this so I don't hopefully have to come back later and build more for them. Um, nope. That was a misclick there. There we go. <clears throat> um, so what I think I'll do here is I'll put the livestocks here. I'll just need a couple livestock, I believe. I'll just start with one each. But let's get on to airport police 2 now normally with airport police 2 you can mostly get away with just having one but I'm gonna put two in uh, just for safety um, sake and make sure that you select them cautious so nothing gets through then we can get rid of airport police 1 <clears throat> later on with airport Police 3, I'm fairly sure I can get away with uh, <clears throat> just with one. So, the contracts are coming in. We're just going to sit around. I don't want to have to look at every one of these right away. Uh, we should be getting plane maintained here. Which means we're, I think, have to take out two of these concrete slabs. Let's just take them out now so that they're ready. Come on, plane maintain. With plane maintain two, we should be allowed to have two fuel trucks. Here's um, here's something else that happened uh, in between part three and part four. Is I started getting these awards, and I got the safety one. I also got that uh, high quality airport award. Did I just miss it? Did I miss the date? I must have miswrote down the date. Oh! Terminal 5. I must have miswrote the date down or something. go ahead and look at our contracts here like I mentioned in the first part of the video um, these um, contracts for Amsterdam have a lot of requirements for check-in desks with the passengers uh, hopefully in a later um, part I can show that this is a major pain to deal with a major pain <clears throat> I I don't even like doing passenger out of Amsterdam because there's just so many so many different uh, master contracts that require a dedicated passenger I don't mind doing the cargo because they're big they you can you can actually monitor its flow in and out with that um, capacity, but pa um, the check-in desks. Uh, no, I know another thing <clears throat> that um, if I do do the uh, terminal stuff later, you can have dedicated service desks. And I thought I read somewhere at one point that the some airlines would require dedicated service desks, but I've never run across on uh, at least not any non glitched out cities that the uh, the um, airline requires dedicated uh, check in desks. Um, 
So I'm not sure if that's just an urban legend or or what. I just don't know. I could have swore Plain Maintain was somewhere here in 74, but I might be wrong on that. It's just a rough list I had. <clears throat> We're at three admins. Oh, there's our security award. Uh, one thing I'll show you here is my customer service rating is now the highest of all the airports in the world with a 377. This should be much higher um, at the end of 1974 with um, me getting those two awards. And then I should be getting, I think, a financial award. Um, but I also should for, for sure be getting a high, um, I say, National uh, Well-Kept Airport Award, which I got at the end of 1973. So, Livestock 1 and two-story terminal. Um, so let's get our livestock in there quick so that we can dedicate some and then get couple across. Let's just do that quick here. Um, where is Air Austria? Air Austria is a red. And let's get UK. Where is UK? Okay. Was it this or was there another? Just make sure. Yep, dedicated cargo flights. And that's good. Now let's go across and build a bunch of livestock. Let's just do half for now because cold storage should be coming in a couple years. I just could have swore plane maintain was this year, but I might be really wrong on that. I see that I don't think any new master contracts came in. They should be starting to kind of shore up on displaying. Um, we'll get another big rush of them when the um, additional runway comes in. And if I have a high enough reputation still, I'll put that runway down. And the contracts will come in real quick and quite numerous where it'll almost fill up the runway in that first month. Um, but I think what's happening now is I bet you that runway is starting to get filled. Let's just see how many gray dots. Yeah, it's starting to get a little filled here. It's just after the last flight, take a look at where the runway sits. Did we get any failed? There shouldn't have been any failed. I've tried to keep up to date on everything, so. Let's see here. Yep. Um, another weird thing that'll happen when you get close to a runway being filled is you might get a failed contract because for an individual flight because the turnaround time is too short um, in this case you can clearly see 1500 to um, to 9 um, or so it looks like 950 to to 1500 it's also right here I guess um, and you might want to move the flights around if they're too close. And it's like 
a very profitable master contract. You can also move them to the additional runways if I had any additional ones which are found here in the lower left hand corner. But let's go ahead and accept this contract and we'll check back at the start of September here. So there's not too much for right now. I'm um, just waiting on that plane maintain. So what I think we're going to do is I will get back with you once we have reached 1975 with the airport fire station and another airport maintain, hopefully. Okay, so we are back here in 1975. Uh, a couple things that happened while we were gone is we just about filled up our runway. Uh, there's a couple slots still open. Not many contracts came in, except I did get one for French International uh, Airlines. A couple other things I wanted to point out was my reputation went up to 631. Also got the well-kept award again. And I wanted to kind of start showing how negotiating the contracts are key. Because if you look here, how much fuel I'm getting in on like some of these other airlines. Where they only have 3,000 flights as compared to... Let's say Dutch Air, which has 12,000, but I didn't do a good job negotiating the fuel. So we only are getting, um, since the start of the contract, we've only gotten a million six in, actually, since they become an airline at this airport. Um, but here's an airport that's about a quarter less or only a quarter of the flights of Dutch Air, but they have paid me substantially more in fuel. Um, Dutch Air has paid a little more in fees, but once again, you can see how this company, I really want flights from DB, uh, DBA, and when I go to add my runway in 1977, I might try and jot down a few uh, airlines that I like, and a few I want to try and stay away from that don't pay a good ratio. Maybe like Dutch Air, but you, you don't want to be losing those ones that give you nice sign-on bonuses too, though. Um, you can see Holland Air does pay, at least on the, their fees and revenue, um, a little bit on their fuel, but not like Dutch Air, which doesn't pay much on anything. This would might be a contract I would consider for renegotiation when it comes to a master contract time. Um, but we'll see. Um, sometimes you will get um, on these bigger, bigger runways, you'll also get a conflict where two airlines will want the same runway slot and they'll see the turnaround time slot um, is no longer available that they wanted. Um, and that might be where I want to come in and see if I can get two airlines against each other. Uh, but I don't think the game mechanics are that sophisticated um, to deal with something like that. Uh, here is Terminal 6. Still did not get that plane maintained while we were gone. I, I could have swore that that occurred over the uh, 74 season. How are we doing on... We should, we're getting a little filled up here, but it's not like there's many flights left to fill it up, so we're just going to leave that be. Uh, the only problem I'm going to have is the runway comes before cargo 2. So I might have to try and solve this quandary now. Um, I think what we're going to end up doing is we're going to build out to the right. And what's going to happen is, is I'm going to build another row, um, the rest of the livestock, then a row of cold storage. And then I might build like the fourth runway up here. 
at the top and then Uh, from there, I can build two runways down here as far over to the right as possible and down and cut across up to here. That way I have plenty of room for the terminal if I ever uh, go that route. Um, but let's see what happens. Um, let's go ahead and look at these contracts since there's not many. As you can see, the runway really filled in. It looks like we got one, two, let's see, three, four, five, six. So three, three airplanes can still come in here. Um, This is what uh, most of this, these jumps in action are, is me uh, skipping past this, just sitting around waiting for stuff to get invented, waiting for that new runway. Yes, I could go and do another 2000 runway, but I just don't see the point of that. Um, there's just no point. I, I want the bigger runway so you can get the, uh, the more contracts, the bigger planes can come in. Um, Just no point. <laughs> that's that's the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> um, else, not much else occurring here. Before we build that next runway, I might do an admin. I don't know, because I think they they get flooded real quick here. Got our safety standards one. So what I think we'll do is we'll stop this video for now um, so that you don't have to sit through the boring parts. I'll hop, hop back on um, when we have some additional stuff to um, add to the airport or something significant occurs. Okay, so we are back here. Um, the new plane maintained came in. So let's go ahead and get that in there before we lose any contracts. Okay, so that was um, plane maintained three that um, has the wider concrete. So. I just will put that concrete fill back in. Let's see here. Two slots left. And we got airport maintain three. So let's go over here. Let's put airport maintain three down. Get rid of that. So there, um, one thing I did is I upgraded the fuel to a better fuel. Um, I don't, I actually don't understand if this has some kind of impact. I do know, like, there can be an issue where the planes take off and they have issues. Um, but I don't know what overall impact the game has. I know there's, like, bird strikes and that and uh, mechanical issues. But beyond that, I'm not sure. Um, as far as I remember, that's about it for 1975. Um, once again, I'll join you in 1976, for which I believe will be cold storage. Um, or else, if there's any other developments, uh, let's hop ahead in the game. Greetings from 1976. So what I done... Um, during this little break as I built more standard cargo 
uh, so when I build this new runway, I don't get um, all these unavailable cargo holds like you saw in a previous video uh, because I didn't have enough um, cargo buildings. So let's go ahead and start building additional plane stands. And the reason I'm doing this now is so that in 19, uh, 1977, when the next the next uh, what's the word I'm looking for the next runway comes in I have enough plane sands because that's another uh, I say failed contract condition build our little corner so the planes don't disappear let's build up our I think this should work. Let's see if I've done this right. This should, in theory, I should be able to do my corners and then build additional plane stands. And once I get the additional runways in, then I can kind of play with these plane stands a little more. But uh, for right now, I just want to get... I think we can do this. Um, There, I think that's enough once I put these last two in. Now let's build the... Apron across... Oh man, oh man. Little misclick there. I see I got another little gap up here that I need to account for. Which can also be a place to put stuff later, like a turnaround or uh, police. Um, but let's get our apron in here. Looks like we got our cold storage, I'm thinking. But I just want to finish this up quick. I don't think any cold storage contracts are going to be flooding in with only two runway slots. And it is cold storage. The little trick of cold storage is that you never know which way to put it. I always seem to put it the wrong way. Whoops. Oh, man. Oh, man. And since I am... A a person who likes to have everything lined up just perfectly. Let's go ahead and get, let's see here. Yep, that's what I remember from this is you can do I think you can do them like this. Back here and back here. And now you can assign them. To Air Austria. I always forget, is it this one? Yep. So this one is green. And 
and I'm just going to take the first one here and make it blue. For that French International Airlines. Um, so I've done my expansion to the plane stand, cargo, and cold storage. Um, that pretty much does it for 1976. Um, I just got the two runway slots still open, but I don't anticipate any movement on that. Uh, what I think we're going to do is we're going to end this video here, and I will join you in 1977 for the new runway and the hopeful flood of new contracts. So if you like what you saw in this video, go ahead, drop me a like. If you have a question or just a general comment, hit, type something in the comments below.